Uh, I just first wanted to ask your opinion as someone who is literally at the tip of the spear on this issue, something that we've all heard so much about, it, and you think about this and work on this every day. Uh, is it your opinion that the impact that this law has had on small businesses, the issue that we're talking about today, is this an unintended consequence of the law that was passed, or is this what was we were trying to achieve in passing the law? I cannot for a moment believe that Congress intended to make billions of dollars worth of products that were sitting on store shelves, One sitting in warehouses, that, on container ships, um, like that. illegal, <laughs> even though nobody Further is alleging that they are unsafe. <laughs> In words, the biggest problem, I think, for small retailers and for resellers of products board, is the, the retroactive effect of the law that sweeps into its for medical effect exam, and then you have to analyze um, those issues. So products that were manufactured again. well before the Another effective date is, um, and were manufactured to meet the laws the as they existed on that point. And we believe that the law specifically gives the Commission the authority to exclude products from the lead limits that clearly do not pose lead ingestion risks. So do you agree with that? And if so, why hasn't the Commission taken specific action to exclude more products? Um, I would I wish that the law did give us that flexibility. I think that flexibility is needed. Unfortunately, the law was written in a very deliberate way. Uh, no, no to not to give us a, that flexibility. We brought this to the attention uh, of committee Which staff during the, the conference drafting and process, and, and, and we're told very specifically um, when I about that, that that flexibility However, was to, not uh, intended. The, fact that when we talk the about way the law there, is written, it didn't we do like not have the flexibility to exclude like many products that our health them. scientists um, is it really do feel do not pose a risk of injury, but which may have led above the 300 when parts per million office, do we need to say, and when you appeal your your, the uh, uh, small businesses, sure as we all know, bear a disproportionate share of federal regulatory burdens to begin with before discussing this law, enough, and, and the, they don't have the compliance uh, resources of their I larger counterparts. And I was wanting um, your opinion, Chairwoman, on uh, this I law. Really Is it placing small businesses at a disadvantage compared to their larger competitors? And if so, is the Commission doing anything to level the playing field, given what you have to work with the with the letter of the law. Decision. Well, I, I do we think that to, this again, law is um, putting small businesses decision, at a disadvantage. Um, I have had informal conversations uh, with many, many well, companies them. around we it, uh, the country. Them, um, no, I do hear below, from large businesses that they are changing their ways to try to accommodate the law. I am hearing from large retailers exam, would be the same that they thing. are sending when you back it, product it was, it was your son or uh, early to make sure would you that, that everything on store okay, shelves so complies since my time is with running the out, law. I guess let me get to so the point. So bigger judges, companies are working to accommodate themselves to the law, but there so are some is, things if, in the I law that have a particularly adverse impact to small businesses. The retroactivity provision that I just mentioned, the fact that we cannot really do same. risk and assessments we do send around and tailor all our regulatory approaches to look at, at, at real yeah. risks. So then the other that impacts small that businesses the things, as well. There are a number of other things that are set out in my written same. testimony, so but yes, I, I do I think we need, to we need to find figure out a way to make sure that this law fulfills its objective to help consumers without undue adverse impact on small businesses. I think objectively all the judges would agree that we are saying